Hi, so in this video again we are going to prove Pythagorean theorem but this time we are going to prove it using some different method. So yes, to prove Pythagoras theorem first we have to have a right angle triangle. So let this be the right angle triangle where this is the right angle and the sides adjacent to right angle are A and B and the biggest side that is the side opposite to right angle or we call it hypotenuse is equal to C. Then we have to prove that A square plus B square is equal to C square. So again I am going to arrange four right angle triangles in a certain pattern and then we are going to prove this theorem. So first let me copy this right angle. This is the right angle. Let me erase all this A, B and C because we already know the smaller side adjacent to right angle is A, the bigger side is B and hypotenuse is represented as C. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this triangle and I'm going to turn it left by 90 degrees and then I'm going to arrange it in this fashion. And again let me take the same triangle and let me rotate it again towards left and then I'm going to fix it over here. Right? And again I'll take the same triangle, turn it left by 90 degrees and then I'm going to fix it over here. So what do we have now? Yes, we already know that the sum of all the interior angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. Since we already know that this angle is 90 degrees, that means the sum of these two angles, this angle and this angle will also be 90 degrees, right? This angle is once again repeated over here, right? And this angle is repeated over here. Similarly, this is over here and we have that green angle over here also, right? And the red angle is here and here. That means all these angles are actually 90 degrees, right? This is 90, this is 90, this is 90 and this is also 90. So what do we have now? We actually have a square. We have all the interior angles of this quadrilateral, bigger quadrilateral as 90 degrees and at the same time we have all these sides equal to C because these are the hypotenuse of the original triangle, right? So what about the area of this bigger square? The area of the bigger square is C square and what it is? It is actually the sum of the areas of all these triangles, this triangle, this triangle, this triangle and this triangle and all these four triangles are actually congruent whose area is actually 1 by 2 A into B and we have four such triangles plus the area of this square. Area of that square will be side square. What is the length of each side of the square. See, this longer side is B and the smaller side is A. That means the each side of this smaller square is actually B minus A. So from here we can write C square is actually equal to 2 1 the 2, 2 2 the 4, 2 AB plus B minus A whole square. Right? That means C square is equal to 2AB plus B minus A whole square will be A square plus B square minus 2AB. This plus 2AB and minus 2AB will cancel each other and from here we will have C square is actually equal to A square plus B square. Right? And what it is? It is nothing but the Pythagorean theorem. So we have proved the Pythagoras theorem using one more method. So that's all for this video. Keep watching Math Smart for the new upcoming videos and bye bye till then.